Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to Vlogmas day 16. Another vlog starting in the car, for which I apologise. This will be the only scene filmed in the car. Do not worry. It is half past eight. I don't think I slept too well last night because I felt like I really wanted to stay in bed longer. Um, to be fair, we did go to sleep a little bit later than normal and I do like to stick to my kind of bedtime hours and waking up hours. Um, so that probably set me a little bit off kilter, but I feel a little bit puffy as a result of that. Maybe I say that every morning and maybe I just am puffy for the first couple of hours. Maybe I need to do some more lymphatic drainage in the morning. Anyway, um, yeah, it's half past eight. I am at the train station. I'm getting a train in 12 minutes to London and have a really nice day planned. I've got two meetings with some of my favourite ladies in the industry. We are going to have a festive brunch at the Wolseley and then a meeting... I think, oh, it's just started to pour with rain. Oh, this means I need to take an umbrella with me and I really can't be bothered to carry an umbrella. So I just know that I'll lose it. Oh, boulder dash. Have I got a little one? Oh, that's so annoying. I literally looked at it. Um, Oh, I'm gonna have to get one out of the boot. Right, okay, very quickly then, so I'm gonna have to faff about now. Yes, two lovely um, events. Well, meeting, luncheon, breakfasting, fun. Um, and then I have got a facial with a Moravixa and a couple of hours in between that I can maybe do a bit of Christmas shopping, maybe have a little look around Harrods. We shall see. But it's gonna be a lovely day, aside from this awful weather. Ew, so let's get going. to an equally grey and miserable London, but I'm gonna cheer myself up with a blank street coffee. I saw Molly Campsey post a lovely looking matcha from here on her Instagram story yesterday. So I think I'm going to treat myself. had a lovely uh, morning of meetings, a gorgeous lunch, and now we're doing a spot of shopping. I've picked up these two little pterodactyls, the darlings. We're just doing little Dior brows. What have you spotted so far that you like? Shoes. Sparkly oh, shoes. Show us the sparkles. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Christmas parties. Or even New Year's. Mm, they're very you, actually. That fabulous dress that you got, um, the black, um, where was it from? Was it Saint Laurent? Yeah. They would go gorgeously with that. Oh, yeah, and I'll get these ones. They're very Freddy, actually, aren't they? Mm. They're a bridesmaid shoe. That's they are. Like. Chunky block heel. I love the pearl on these. Wow. Oh, my goodness. 
so we've come up to the beautiful fourth floor on Liberty, having a little look at their Christmas decks. Got so many more here since I last came. I love all these gingerbread structures, quite handy for rooms that you don't have a tree in, but you want to add a little festive touch. Angels from top of the tree. Over overpriced hair items in Liberty. So lovely. I've got, I've got a bow in my handbag, but my goodness, how cute is this? Popping on a ponytail. I'm in love with these little clips, but so expensive. £36, £38, but they are so gorgeous. Too much. Back out onto Regent Street and it's that lovely kind of dusk hour so nice to still be able to see where you're going but also see the magical sparkling fairy lights. And we're going for matcha. Yay! Lead the way darling. This way. This way. We just thought we'd come and get a tea at Sketch. My goodness, it is a winter wonderland. Wow. Without a doubt, the craziest bathrooms in London, the pods in sketch. We've got little Christmas trees on top and a giant snow globe. These mirrors are a little bit crazy. We've just had a very quick tea and now Em and I are going to say goodbye. I'm heading over to 60 South Audley Street. I've got an Amaravix facial, which I'm so looking forward to. I feel like my skin is really good today. I used my LED mask last night and I put on my By Terry um, CC which I've actually not used in absolutely ages but I was thinking as I was walking through the rain this morning maybe that drizzle has given me a little bit of a hydrating facial um, but yeah quite pleased with quite pleased with the glow but it's been a lovely afternoon of shopping look how cute the little Christmas trees are um, and now I'm very much looking forward to lying down for an hour or so and chilling out there she is Hello. Oh, you look so cute her. the lighting here is quite nice I know I always think the lighting in here is really nice mm. I was just thinking, like, I don't even need to go for a facial. Like, my skin is looking pretty Who's good. A I'm more of Exa. Oh, cool. 90 minutes. That's going to be happy. Oh, I'm just going to have a nap. Yeah, oh, I need that. I'm jealous. No. Snoozle. I know. Also, yeah. I have these in my kitchen. Oh. Ah. Yes, it doesn't actually. Yes. Soap and emollient. Emol emollient, it's fresh. Very yeah. nice. I've got the one with um, exfoliating granules in Dexter's yes, bedroom. Mine has exfoliating granules in, actually. So nice. I love that they have the NSC sketch. That's so good cute. Good enough sketch, it's good enough. It's good enough. Ooh. Ooh. Little festive sofa situation. So M is showing me a new mattress spot. This is Swallow Street. And there's a little spot down here called Hagen. It's a floor glittery. Oh my goodness me. Magical. They even do Danish wine in here. Called Glug. Glug. Glug, 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 Glug. It's just really cute and hidden. Love it. They have it in here at this very good matcha. Can't wait oh. to try it. So we're just stopping at Hagen to get our matcha and we are very kindly able to try a little sample of their mulled wine. Do you want to go first? Give us your review. Oh, it smells no. like Christmas. You've got to do it like your wine tasting. Yeah. Notes of grapefruit, notes of blackcurrant, notes of grape, uh, um, orange, yeah. cinnamon, yeah, nutmeg, mm. and uh, it just it just smells like Christmas. Christmas. Mm, it's thick. thick. Well, it doesn't taste like it. Like you'll see what I mean. The flavour is very, very flavoursome. It's very like a deep. It's rich in flavour. Ooh, fruity. I love it. <laughs> Mm. That is gorgeous. Do you, nice. do you need any uh, reviewers? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Go, go, go. Look. So this is the lovely South Audley Street and I'm heading in here to Amoravixa for my facial. I cannot wait. It is such a gorgeous brand and I'm so ready for 90 minutes of relaxation. What a great location. So you've got Mount Street there where the Connaught is and down here is Piccadilly. The Bamford store is just there. Looks like a very chic little boutique. Let's go and investigate. Gosh, such beautiful decor. First thing I noticed are the end on end bricks like in our garden. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the pink walls. It's very calm. Oh, 
very calming little space just off South Audley Street. I recognize Ludovico Einaudi playing on the speakers. So I'll enjoy a little bit of classical piano. I think this is a 90 minute treatment. I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'm gonna pop you down here while I switch off and enjoy. My goodness me, that was absolute heaven. I have been in a state of pure bliss for the last 90 minutes. I cannot even explain how relaxing that was. And I feel like that's what I really wanted to find in London was a really relaxing facial. I've tried quite a few that are very functional. But oh my gosh, I was in deep sleep. The massage, the products, that was true bliss. This place is such a calm oasis. I just love the decor in here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try and recreate that at home. I've got so much product in my hair. I'm so glad it's the end of the day. But my gosh, if you want a real treat to just chill out and give your skin such a glow, that was amazing. Oh, I wish I could just roll into bed, but I've got an hour and a half journey home. Okay, I finally made it back to the car. That was quite a long journey home. But I just have to tell you about how awkward I was on that train journey. So I went into Selfridges Food Hall and I got like a, um, are they called a Aki Pokey? A Hokey Pokey? I don't know, a, a Pokey Bowl to eat on the train. Um, and I was feeling a bit awkward anyway because I feel like eating in front of other people on a really jam-packed train is always a little bit awkward. But then the lady sat opposite me, she got out her like quite smelly pret, um, like uh, curry dish or like no noodly thing. So I was like, okay, if she's gonna eat, then I'll eat. So I got it out and I started eating. Um, first of all, I was like dribbling the sauce everywhere and I just, I just couldn't help it. Like I'm not a, a neat eater. So I already was aware of people like, looking at me out the side of their eye being like oh my god she's really such a messy eater and i just had the most awkward thing where i was leaning in to eat my food the lady sat across the table from me was leaning in to eat her food so our heads were like this close and then we both looked up at the same time when our heads were so close and made eye contact like we were so close to each other and we made eye contact when we were down and like eating it was just <laughs> It was just the most awkward thing ever. I don't know if that's just so British of me to find that awkward, but I just, oh my gosh, it was just so awkward. Um, then I got out my matcha, yes, my third matcha of the day, and it was in one of those bubble tea things where it's got the plastic lid and you have to stab it with the straw. And the very first time I ever did that, I actually sprayed myself with the drink so I was like, I can't bear the embarrassment of potentially spraying myself. So I tried to like gently stab it and it was not working. And at this point I'd made like five noises of like blop, 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 trying to stab it. So again, I felt that people were staring at me and I was like, oh my God, people are gonna think I'm such an idiot. I don't know how to like stab my matcha. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just, um, <laughs> I was like, it's okay. I'll just like peel the plastic away. So what happened? Obviously, I squirted myself <laughs> with the matcha. Oh my god, and then I was trying to like pickle it, and I was trying to like slurp it through this tiny little hole that I'd made, and I dribbled it down me. So that was awkward, and then I did one more awkward thing. What was it? I was just like, I had to, I kept <laughs> needing to blow my nose, so I felt really dorky blowing my nose. And then I had a sneeze attack, and... <laughs> During my sneeze attack, I also had like a coughing fit. So I was like sneezing and coughing and I had earphones in. So I was like spluttering as well. Oh my God. You know, when you just, oh, and there was a guy my age sat like diagonally, diagonally. And not that I care, but like, you know, when there's someone your age and I'm makeup free, I was like, I promise I'm actually a normal person. And I've just been such a twerp on this um, <laughs> train journey. I just felt so embarrassed. It was the eye contact that was the worst. Oh my goodness, that was mortifying. Anyway, I literally just pulled over to tell you this because I feel so embarrassed about how idiotic I was during that journey. But anyway, 
um, I'm gonna go now. I think I'm gonna make this a two day vlog because I want to catch up and be vlogging in real time. So I'll see you tomorrow morning in hopefully a far less embarrassed state. Good morning, my darlings. It's the next day. I'm back home again. And uh, as I mentioned, this is gonna be a two day vlog as we try to catch up. I had a lovely pampering shower this morning. I have just completely polished off my super healthy skin. I'm gonna have to order a few more of these because at this time of year, you know, when your skin is just in need of that moisturizing hug, this is the best, it truly is. I actually have a beauty pie order here that I'm going to unbox with you. Um, but I have a feeling I forgot to add super healthy skin, so I'm gonna make another order. <laughs> I also need to order some more of my beauty pie makeup sponges because they are long lasting. I've probably had this one for like four months, um, but every now and then, as much as I clean them, I do feel like they do need replacing every now and then. But anyway, let's get into this order. I love how everything arrives <laughs> all wrapped up like this. So it literally feels like, oh, did I order a new super healthy skin? No, I think these are candles. Um, yeah, it literally feels like I'm unboxing Christmas gifts, which I kind of am, but um, some of these are Christmas gifts for other people. I cannot help but think that gifting someone a beauty pie membership this Christmas is just such a wonderful gift idea, especially if you if you're not too sure what to get someone, if you just gift someone a beauty pie membership, then they'll be able to choose their own favorite beauty products or skincare or candles, whatever. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell you this. I can edit it out if I'm not, but let's just say the LED mask is coming back in stock soon. So you need to have your beauty pie membership up and running and ready so that you can Grab it as soon as it comes available. As a little reminder, you can use the code Josie sent me, and um, that will get you ten pounds off if you are a new member signing up your annual membership. But it now also works for existing menu menus members, <laughs> and you can get ten pounds off your order if you spend over sixty pounds. So, a really nice little Christmas treat. Why not pick up some gifts for loved ones? I'll give you a little bit of inspo here. If you're thinking, what on earth are you talking about, Josie? I know the vast majority of you are super familiar with Beauty Pie, but it's essentially a luxury beauty members club. Beauty Pie work directly with the factories. Let's take, for example, this. If this was created by a brand like Creme de la Mer or even a brand like Kiehl's, it would be like five or six times the price because of the marketing and the markup that brands put on products. Or a, a clearer example, beauty sponges. For what I pay on Beauty Pie for 10 beauty sponges, and think about it, these cost like not very much to make, but when you buy a beauty sponge from the famous brand, it costs 10 times more because of all the markups. So um, Beauty Pie, Direct from the factory, no crazy markups, you get amazing quality beauty products at really fair prices. And you get those amazing prices when you have the membership, which is so affordable. You literally get back what you spend on your membership in your first order. So many of my favorite products are from Beauty Pie, whether it's my vitamin C capsules, whether it's my sponge, my even my candles. I've got the fur and balsam, although I'm not gonna tell you about that because I think it's sold out. Um, yeah. It's amazing. You can use code Josie sent me. Without further ado, let's do a little unboxing. I think what I might do is a little YouTube shorts where I share my top 10 beauty pie products of all time off the top of my head. Definitely the body lotion, definitely the sponges, vitamin C capsules, the tanning drops, how many is that for? My powder makeup brush, obviously the LED light, the Photopia, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, how many is that? There's probably like nine already. Oh, the under eye creamy concealer, mm, the candle, oh my gosh, the SPF 30 lip balm. There are just so, so many amazing products. So a lot of these I have um, 
ordered from my own membership to give as gifts because I think Beauty Pie products also make amazing gifts if you've got a friend who for some crazy reason has not got a membership you can obviously treat them um, and a lot of the products you can kind of guess what designer versions they're very similar to so this is a pomegranate and bay rose candle it's um it's a really nice like living room candle it's a very warming cozy house smell mm. and i'm sure i'll be allowed to say this it smells identical to a certain germalone candle <laughs> If you know someone who really wants to step up the anti-aging element of their skincare routine but doesn't want to spend a fortune because, let's face it, anti-aging products can be an absolute bomb diggity bomb, it's so expensive, um, the Beauty Pie Youth Bomb range is amazing. This product has, I'm sure it's like an award winning product, Radiance Concentrate. Helps visibly firm, tighten, and soften fine lines and wrinkles. I would say if you know someone that maybe has always loved the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair or the um, La Mer Anti-Aging Serum but doesn't want to continue spending those crazy prices, introduce them to this and it will save them a fortune. I decided to just add this <laughs> into my order because um, tote bags are super useful and especially for carting presents around at this time of year. Um, I know stockings are cute but um, teenage girls that I know, I feel like they would prefer a massive beauty pie tote bag to a stocking and also great for doing the Christmas shop. Another candle, Bahia de Miel. I actually do not think that I've tried this one before, but um, someone was telling me how gorgeous it is. I think this is one to give a guy. It's a very like masculine, smoky, woody. It's called a crush of green basil with licorice milk with balsam fir, guaiac wood, honey, and seductive vanilla musk. That's really like smoky and sexy. Mm, love that. And then this one I think is one of their best sellers, it's called Clean House, and you can literally guess what this smells of. Really, really fresh, um, and literally smells like a clean house. Clean house. You can get the three of these in a little trio gift pack if you wanted to gift someone some really luxury candles, but without spending hundreds of pounds on the designer brands. They also have already kind of made up gift sets, which I think is fantastic this time of year. I'm pretty sure these are limited edition. Now this, I'm quite tempted to keep for myself, which I know is like the naughtiest thing ever when you're Christmas shopping, but did I not that yesterday morning literally say I need to start doing more facial massage in the morning? And this is the perfect set for doing so. I think even my facial last night included a treatment with, um, with this. Sculpting facial roller, apply facial oil and sweep the facial roller in an upwards motion along jaw lines, blah 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 blah, um, five minutes or more daily. And then this is the Junana fruit and flower facial infusion that is perfect for doing it with. So if any of your friends are complaining that they look or feel a little bit puffy um, or they're really into facial massage and they don't have this tool yet, I feel like this is such a nice combo. I'm a huge fan of skincare oils. Let's see what this one is like. And again, with skincare oils, my goodness, they can just be so expensive. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my gosh. Oh, that smells like um, a very expensive oil. I can't remember which one. Definitely one that I've tried before and was very expensive. I think Darfan. Oh my goodness. And then you can obviously just use this. Oh, it's gold. <gasps> Stunning. Oh my gosh. And the thing with Beauty Pie, you know, you could probably order something like this on Amazon, but it would probably not be the best quality. This is weighty. Like that's a weighty product and it's gold and it's just, it just feels really good quality. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is what I need to do in the mornings because I do get puffy. Still puffy right now. And also it's cold, so it feels really refreshing. I think I wanna make this part of my daily routine. My goodness, look how much I need <laughs> to fake tan. That is heaven, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to buy another one of those for gifting because that is staying with me. How absolutely heavenly, gorgeous gift idea. 
And then this is something that I love to put in people's stockings. It is the Beauty Pie Mulberry Silk Pillowcase. And we all know the benefits of using a silk pillowcase. So much better for your skin. You don't wake up with like creases. It's antibacterial. It's great for your hair, for smoothness and stopping you from getting frizz. It just comes in this lovely little box and silk pillowcases can be so expensive. Really hard to find good quality ones. And of course the Beauty Pie one is such gorgeous quality. So much more affordable, just so easy to add to your beauty pie order. And I think, again, a silk pillowcase is the kind of thing that we all know is a real treat and a real luxury. But how often would we actually think to invest in one for ourselves? So just makes the most gorgeous gift idea. So there we go, a few little bits and bobs in my latest beauty pie order. My camera battery is flashing at me, so I'm gonna get my makeup done, my hair done. Um, we've got Jake coming over today for a shoot day to get the last little bit of festive content for the house account and my personal account, so I'm gonna get myself ready. And then later on, I have got some H&M and, and other stories bits um, that have arrived that I will share with you. But don't forget, Josie sent me is the code that you need, whether you're a Beauty Pie existing member, to get £10 off your order. So when you spend £60 or £10 off your first order for new members. And that's including the free trial as well. So make the most of it. Um, and let me know your Beauty Pie favourites down below. Because I know everyone has got their favourite things that they love to treat themselves to and um, treat their friends to. So there we go. Okay, my darlings, I'll see you in a few moments when I'm looking a little bit more put together. Well, my darlings, it's actually uh, three or four or maybe even five hours later. Jake has been and gone. He's leaving right this second. I, today was just one of those days I could not multitask. I couldn't vlog and shoot. We had a few last minute projects come in and it was a bit I think we both sat back and we both felt a bit on edge today. I think the matcha that I had day. on the way home was probably not the best idea, but Back into the fis f festive, festive spirit, as the Queen would say, Charlie has a new tree to show us. Would you like to explain well, yourself, darling? A new tree? Well, well it, we, it we tree. basically, I think we bored everyone talking about Balsam Hill, and obviously we love the artificial trees, and we kind of have to have them because of the fact that we put decorations up in, like, second week of November. Which, do you know what? If we weren't doing this job tomorrow... I would still be up for putting decorations up like midway through November because then you have six Spread weeks. the joy. For the, well, for otherwise, a lot of work for just three or four weeks. Yeah. Um, but we do miss having a real tree. Yeah. So what we've done is we've got a, and they're, they're hilarious because obviously everything at Dalesford is organic, or most things, it's all an organic Christmas tree. Are you joking? Um, which apparently the guy was telling me, Max, who works there, who's awesome, he was telling me that Christmas trees, believe it or not, Oh, I haven't fact High this. pesticide. Haven't, yeah, apparently, seriously. So lots of people are bringing a pesticide-covered tree into their houses. Well, because if you think about it, no other tree out there do you buy that you pay more attention to the perfect nature of it. That's true. And therefore, when they're farming these trees, they really do as much as possible to mm. ensure that they look as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of, but look, it's not indoors anyway. So that's not the reason we bought it. We bought it from Dalesford because it was convenient and it was yeah. there. And Dalesford deliver, which was the key thing. Because uh -huh. I didn't want to be doing the whole putting it in my car this year. Oh gosh, no. So we've got one outside, which is super exciting. We're going to put lights on it this weekend. But I love, the how, I love even having something there. And I know that <clears throat> we'll obviously show people when the lights are on. But when we've got the lights outdoors on, this corner's a bit dark. Yeah. Whereas there's light everywhere else. So I think that's going to bring... Can you just hold the camera and take it outside while I put my coat on? Yeah, let's go outside. There we go. It's a very grey day today, so it's not lovely lighting. I think it looks nice. Yeah, and I've filled... I've, if you notice, I've filled the basin with rocks. So, it is pretty secure. So can we plant this next year? No. No, we can't. It's a chopped tree? Yeah, it's a chopped tree, yeah. Because, because we don't, well, if we had fields and fields, maybe we'd want to plant one, but we don't have anywhere to put a Christmas tree. And they're not, you know, this is grown on Dalesford's farm. It's organic. <laughs> it's been cut, and I'm, you look, ultimately it's going to die. It will get recycled as such. Um, but that's part of Christmas, but... Can you water it? Well, to be honest, because it's outside, 
I think this will look good and we'll leave it up because it's not going to have Christmas decorations, it's just going to have fairy lights. I don't view it as just for Christmas. So I think this might even last through Jan, Feb, but let's see. We'll leave it up as long as possible. So yeah, so I think it looks nice. What do you think? Gorgeous. You happy with it? Yeah, lovely. Um, but I think obviously it'll look a lot better when there's fairy lights on, but I think it just needed it there. Look, this is a nice angle. I think it, especially with the twinkling of the lights, I think it just needs something there. Um, in a way, a tree actually would look nice permanently there. But the problem is we've got a drain cover there, so I don't think we could plant one. Okay, well we'll show everybody how it looks when it's got the lights on. There we go. So there we go, our organic Christmas tree. <laughs> We're going to do a speed version of the advent calendar today because Charlie is off for his haircut and back massage. Sports, Sports massage. massage. Okay, right, take it over right, then, Joey. Here we go. Speed Number version. 16. Day 16, okay. I may or may not have seen this arriving, so I think I know what it is. Yeah, you bang on about it. <laughs> I do, <laughs> every time we get. Where would you go if we ran out of water? To the well, okay, let's go. This is a slight cheat one, because Joe's did see it getting delivered, I so. I did, and I'm really happy. Are we gonna have it tomorrow? Tom well, the idea is, cause so yeah, so we're at, tomorrow we're at time, so we'll have it for dinner. Oh, hello, small! Okay. Funny boys. Where would we go if we ran out of water? Obviously, he's saying that with a pinch of salt because this well does not actually work. Well, like, yeah, we've never had a professional look at it, but there yeah. is water in it, but we don't think it's drinkable. There is. So, my advent treat for the day, and please excuse our washing tumble dryer going off in the background, is Pastor Evangelist. Is this carbonara of drinks? Yeah, for four people, for two. Yes. Because that's the only, do you know what, so that's why we get Nonna Tonda and not Pastor Evangelist is I personally think, and I'll be interested to see with this, I think the portion sizes are even more, uh, what's the word, um, thrifty with Pastor Evangelist than they are with Nonna Tonda. But, but the reality is none of them are, like, we can't get away with for two. We always order for four. Because we are pork Because we're porkies. But this, their, um, their carbonara of dreams, is the best at home pasta dish. Do you reckon it's better than my own carbonara? Yeah, it probably is actually, because it's a sauce. But it's yeah. not really a car, it's not traditional. Because it's more of a cheesy sauce, isn't it? Oh, it's Do you not so think? good. This is like a Big Dex. Oh, like lovely pepe, dog. And it is just so freaking good, and it takes us like five minutes to do it. Oh, what a lovely it's dog. Amazing. We're gonna get a treat, mummy, because we've been... Street bell! So we've been such good dogs today. Yes. Look at that patient boy. Off to your bed. Off to your bed. Off to your bed, please. Off to your bed. Off to your bed. Little boy's already waiting. Oh, we're so excited. <laughs> Lovely boys. Amazing. So my favorite pasta dish for dinner tomorrow there you go. Right. It's a nice gift idea, actually. If yeah. you're struggling to buy something for someone, they do a three-month subscription, which is yes. one a week. Yeah. And I think it's not that's not inexpensive, but for like, um. lovely, um, for a uh, yeah for for a for a parent or a close family member, mm -hmm. it's a nice gift idea. Or someone that's just had a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, right. I'm off. All right, see ya. Okay, my darlings. I apologise for the rushedness of that. Advent calendaring, um, but I don't want to hold Charlie up because then, let's be honest, he's going to be speedy gonzaling through the country lanes to get his appointment on time. Um, so yes, he has now gone, and I'm going to show you, first of all, I'm actually going to show you something that I have got Charlie for Christmas because I know that he won't watch this. Don't tell him. I'm trusting you to not tell him that this is a gift that I have got for him. As you may know, Charlie is a very big Man United fan. Um, we're going to also have to not put this in the trailer because he does watch my stories but he doesn't watch the Vlogmases because he lives them so why, why would he watch them? Yeah, Charlie is a really big Man United fan um, and the amount of content about Man United that this boy consumes actually blows my mind. Like, how can someone, like, there are things that I'm obsessed with, like sausage dogs, macaroni cheese, and other things, um, but there's only so much, like, sausage dog content that I can consume, or whatever, but Charlie, in any spare minute, is listening to a Man United podcast, he's watching a Man United documentary, obsessed, <laughs> actually obsessed. So, 
I saw this um, advertised on, I think, Instagram. I think I've got a dud version. I think I've got a version with like a scratch in it. I'm sure he won't mind. That's actually really annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, okay, well, maybe I will just let them know that they, they sent me a scratched version. I'll leave a link to this down below, but it's basically a lovely leather bound, personalized book with all football clippings, sorry, um, newspaper clippings about Manchester United. This is probably gonna be some quite good bedtime reading. Like, as much as Charlie's not a big fan of traditional newspapers, he is a very big fan of Man United. So this is all the articles, my goodness, all the articles that have been written about Man United. Um, that's so interesting, and it's, it's literally like scans of the newspaper pages. So it goes from the olden days um, to more modern times. And if, if we read a newspaper, like if we're at a hotel or we get the Financial Times, not that there's that much football in the Financial Times, but Charlie will always just read the Man United section. So Ferguson ends long wait. Old Trafford's class of 93 prove worthy winners. I think he will love flicking through these as quite possibly the world's biggest Man United fan. And yeah, it's personalised. And if you do have a football-loving boyfriend or husband um, and you need a fairly last-minute gift, this arrived so quickly. I think I ordered it while lying in bed like a day and a half ago, so that arrived really quickly. And it's personalised, so love that. What do you think? Like, look, it has got, it has, the embossing has messed up a bit there. Should I get them to redo it? I might just send them a photo and be like, is it meant to be like this? So yeah, thought I would quickly show you that. Um, now let me show you the bits that were in my H&M order. And as you may know, with H&M now, they put And Other Stories and Arquette on the same website. So you literally click buy now once and then you get everything, which is wonderful. Um, I'm just gonna go and get the shoes to show you them before I forget them. Okay, so these are the accessory bits. I saw a pair of earrings almost identical to this on Netta Porter for about 10 gazillion times more money than these were and I just thought for someone that loves a little bit, a bit of glitz and glam but also loves a pearl I thought they would be the most gorgeous Christmas earrings. These by the way are the ones that I gifted my bridesmaids for our wedding. They are from Nice Cream London and my hair bow is from Actually, this one is from Jennifer Bear, but far more affordable are the clementine and mint ones. I've got dark brown, I've got tartan. These would be such a nice little like work secret Santa thing or just treat for yourself. Burgundy, which I love. I think I'll be wearing these all festive season. I mean, if you look at the quality difference, there is practically no difference between the one in my hair now, which I think was over a hundred pounds, and the Clementine and Mint, and it's always nice to support a small company. Now, we normally, I'm not normally a fan of paper napkins, it's not the most sustainable thing in the world, but sometimes at Christmas, like greasy things, um, sometimes you just need them. So I just picked up one pack of the Christmas tree, they are recycled paper, but still. Christmas tree napkins, um, and then a couple of pairs of shoes, which I really didn't need, but I just saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. These little kind of moon boots, I just thought they were so cute. I really don't need them, I don't actually know what I was thinking. But these, on the other hand, I do love as little slippers. They look like Gucci. Aren't they adorable? I'll leave all of these bits linked down below in the order that I'm showing them to you. House shoe, they are slippers, they're not, they've not got proper soles. Yeah, I just think these are so cute, so cute. Now with these clothing bits, obviously the lighting is not ideal at the moment for doing try-ons, so when it's sunnier in the morning, I will film the try-ons and I'll just pop them on the screen and then I'll show you whether I'm gonna keep or return them, um, or you guys can let me know your opinions because I won't have sent them back by the time this vlog goes live. So I'll pop try-on clips on the screen, but the first thing is a classic cream jumper dress. I say cream, it's more of like an oatmeal-y color. Um, nice long length, I did try this on for some of the um, stuff that we filmed with Jake earlier today. It does have that high slit, the h and so often do, which I find a little bit annoying, like sometimes I don't want to get the legs fully out, but I do love a jumper dress and h and do affordable jumper dresses very well indeed. Then we have this one. Um, 
I felt that I just I just don't get my legs out enough so I thought I would treat myself to a slightly shorter dress this would I've seen a lot of people wearing like fashion tights lately like tights with sparkly bits on so because it's so short it would probably look really nice with a pair of fabulous tights or just or just bare legs if that's your vibe but as you can see it's like an ambery bronzy color which I think is really beautiful um, I like the fact that you're very covered at the top it's high neck long sleeve and then you can whip the legs out and it fits really nicely again I did try this on for some of the clips that we filmed um, earlier today I might end up wearing this later I'm actually going to Soho farmhouse for dotter with Petra and NJ my Cotswold ladies of ladies who lunch or ladies who darlings who dinner <laughs> we are darlings who dinner not ladies who lunch um actually we were ladies who lunched last time at Estelle Manor tonight we are darlings who dinner so um cozy layers are what's required for this evening and this is a plain brown jumper dress with a kind of a plaited pattern which I love and I think this is the kind of thing that I reach for from my wardrobe very very regularly so I think this is going to be a winner I think this was quite expensive I think this is one that's an alpaca mix but I do love a long line cardigan like something that goes over my bottom and over my thighs it's just really easy to throw on easy to wear and like so <laughs> like so many people <laughs> I'm just obsessed with brown at the moment you could even wear this with like a silk silky skirt that would look quite nice but it's really really lovely and soft so love that oh I actually have two things for Charlie here these are Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous bits of um, knitwear. I accidentally have these in with my age number, so I'll show you anyway. Holland Cooper menswear is gorgeous. Like Charlie literally is living in his Holland Cooper gilets. He, he's wearing it every day. That would be an amazing Christmas gift, but this is one of their new jumpers. Really gorgeous brown, slightly flecked material, and then as you can see, it's got this suede leather patch on the shoulder. He's gonna absolutely love that. That is so classic. Um, and then, of course, we've got a roll neck. It's Charlie we're talking about. This, I can't quite tell if it's a really dark green. I think it is a really dark green roll neck, which, let's face it, he's just gonna love and live in that as well. Holland Cooper menswear is literally Charlie's style. In, in, in a T, to a T. Okay, this is sexy <laughs> a lovely like beautifully soft as you can see silky dress maybe I should wear this tonight I feel like this is too smart for Soho farmhouse Soho farmhouse and especially because I want to eat burger and mac and cheese tonight but look at this material this will be really nice for a slightly more casual Christmas dinner I feel mm, I love it can't wait to try that and what you could do is actually pop a gorgeous chunky white knit over the top of that and then you get like a skirt and a dress in one this is another really lovely thick knit is it and other stories or is it H&M and other stories and um, I will leave everything linked down below as I mentioned really gorgeously soft I think that and other stories knitwear is incredible value I think they get the quality and the price that really really good balance and I just live in knitwear so I can never have too much love that I think a gray is very very classic as well I love a vest top I feel like when I did my Instagram outfit challenge I really honed my love of vest tops and I think this with a gorgeous silky blouse on underneath will be gorgeous or a cashmere roll neck really really nice layering piece um, and a gorgeous warm kind of chocolatey tan color love that oh maybe I'll wear this tonight yeah because sometimes I feel like a brown jumper dress when you're in a very dark place and the main barn at Soho Farmhouse is so dark I think this will actually be better because that would just look like a dark blob <laughs> if I wear that this is a really lovely high neck I can definitely wear my thermals underneath this wear my little brown cowboy boots we don't have a slit on the side thank goodness it's a really nice thick chunkiness to the knit which I think is gorgeous I actually mentioned this to Freddie when I saw her at Vista a couple of days ago and she said that she's got it and she loves it it's a boucle sparkly jacket from H&M which I think is so lovely look at the detail the pearls on here the pearls on here if you want to add a layer of warmth to your Christmas dress this would be gorgeous if you want to dress up 
an otherwise slightly more casual outfit, then this would be so, so beautiful. I don't wear smart things like this very often, so I thought that going to the high street would be a much better idea for me than going to a designer store, because it's not something that I'm that comfortable wearing yet, and then if I end up wearing it absolutely loads, then I can maybe think about investing in a more luxury version, but I don't even know if I'd need to. I mean, look at this material with the little sparkles in it. It is so beautiful. And last but not least, a chunky festive knit. This, I have to say, is so soft. I love the pink and black pattern on it. It's a very kind of traditional chunky knit. This with leggings and cozy snow boots. It's just the perfect thing to throw on at this time of year. It's a Christmas jumper without being too cheesy. I think it's gorgeous and yeah, so soft. I just love the kind of oversized slouchiness of it. I think it's gonna be very, very wearable and very comfortable and very warm, it's super thick. So there we go. If anything stands out to you as being sensational or <laughs> the opposite that you think I should return, please let me know your opinions down below. I will be scrutinizing your comments before I decide what to keep and what to send back. So please let me know your thoughts. I think Petra is playing the mind game on me that I play on Charlie when I want fish and chips or mac and cheese because we <laughs> we were originally meant to be going, um, we were originally meant to be going to um, Pan Yan, a farmhouse tonight, which is the slightly more like Asian fusion. You can get sushi, you can get like teriyaki aubergine, which I love, and I love because it's a bit different. You don't get you don't get like non-British food that many places in the Cotswolds. So I'd booked Pan Yan, but um, Petra messaged this morning just and she just mentioned mac and cheese, and I was like, I know what you're doing. I know that you're dropping the hint. You're dropping that little hint to make me think about mac and cheese all day so that I'm the one later to suggest we get mac and cheese because this is what I do with Charlie when I really want fish and chips or mac and cheese I'll just subtly mention it earlier that day like not even oh I really want fish and chips I might just be like oh did you see that sign outside the fish and chip shop earlier and then it just plants the seed and then he'll be think thinking about fish and chips subconsciously. It's like subliminal advertising, but to get the food that you want for dinner, I'd highly recommend it. It works really well with boys, especially hungry boys. So <laughs> yeah, Petra's definitely been playing that game on me. Um, and by the looks of it, NJ is keen for mac and cheese as well. So we're gonna be heading off in an hour. I'm gonna get a little bit of can't talk. I'm going to get a little bit of work done until um, we head out to Soho Farmhouse. I will film as much as I can, but I don't want to get in trouble. Um, so, yeah. Great order, I would say. Oh, I actually have a couple of other bits that I haven't steamed yet, um, but I need to show you. One moment, please. It's this rather jazzy little kind of champagne coloured set, which just looked so elegant on the model on the screen. Um, it's like a champagne dupion, like silk dupion, but it's obviously not silk dupion because that would have been really expensive. But the pieces look really gorgeous and elegant worn separately. I think the colour is just gorge but really beautiful worn together. So I'm really looking forward to trying this on. You will see a few clips of me trying this on on the screen here. So let me know what you think. Um, obviously this is all, all high street pieces, so nothing crazy expensive, but I don't wanna be bringing anything into my wardrobe that I'm not gonna get wear out of for a few years at least. So yeah, let me know what you think to all these pieces in the comment section down below.